Welcome back. We're still on the topic angles and tangents of circle. And today, we will do mind test 6.4a textbook, page 161. In this exercise, you will learn how to solve problems involving angles and tangents of circles. Let's see the first questions. The first questions say in this diagram shows two circles with center C and D. C and D is the center of this circle. Given ready of the two circles are 6cm and 3cm respectively. And PQRS is a common tangent to both circles. So, if we know that C, PQRS is a common tangent. So, that means we can draw like this. We can draw a line down here. We can draw a line down here. And both of these is a tangent to the circle 90 degree. And given that the ready is 6 and 3 cm. So, that means it's here is 6 cm. Here is 3 cm. And that's it. That's the only info that we given. And they ask you to find the length of QR in cm. Let me enlarge these figures. Okay, in this question, they ask you to find the length of QR. Correct in three significance figures. Then they ask you to find the QR. QR is here, from here to here. Okay, how? We only have... 6 and 3, that's only the information, the radius. So, we can draw like this. A line like this, okay. So, the total length, because we know the, the radius is 6 cm here. Here is 3 cm. I love to take out this triangle because... We can use the theorem Pythagoras to solve this. Problems, eh, not the theorem Pythagoras, the sochatoa, sin, cos, and tangent. So we take out the triangle. Okay, if I take out the triangle, I can have like this a triangle, like this. Okay, I can have a triangle 6 minus 3, here is 3 cm, and the length is. The top 9 cm. Why? Total 6 plus 3. And now let's identify. We want to find the length of QR. And we can write here. The length of QR is equal like this. Okay. And. Now let's identify. On oh, this one you use the Pythagoras only. Other way. Okay. So let's identify. Uh, how to find QR. We use theorem Pythagoras. So QR is equal to square root 9 square minus 3 square. And we got the value is 8.49 cm. 8.49 cm. That's it. So we got the value of QR equal to 8.49. Theorem Pythagoras. Sorry again. <laughs> okay, so it's 8.49 cm okay next the questions ask you to find the value of cdqr okay they ask you to find the area of quadrilateral cdqr so we have this cdqr okay we have cdqr they ask us to find it the area Okay, so first you need to know the formula, formula area for quadrilaterals. So the area equal to area equal to one over two a plus b times h. Okay, so let's say this one is our a, this one is our b, which is three cm, a six cm, and our h is. 8.49 cm. So, we just need to substitute the value into this formula, which is 1 over 2 times 6 plus 3 times 8.49. Okay. So, our answer, they ask the answer in 4 significance figures. So, that means we can take the value is 38.21 
centimeter square. Okay, square because this one is a area. Area, the unit is square. Next, let's move to the second question. Okay, the second question shows a diagram with a radius 4 and 8 cm respectively. PQRS and TUV are common tangent to both circle and PAQ is 70 degree. Now, whenever you see the told you it's a tangent to a circle, so that means here is 90 degree. Here is 90, 90 degree. And the question A and B ask you to find the value of X and Y. Okay, so let's see these questions. I enlarge this one. Whenever you see at the front is 70. That means the second one is also 70. Okay. How it can be like that? I draw it again. But this time, I move this one like this. To make it just easier to see what actually happened. It's actually like this. Okay. It's actually like this. If we move it a bit, you will see P, Q, R. This one is A, B. So this one is tangent to a circle. This is a tangent. So that means whenever the angle here, it be the same like this one. Okay. So that's why here also 70. Why? I try to find the 70 because that's the only value given in these questions. So we need to identify identify which angle is also the same. So we know that the angle of ABR is 70. Why I want to find this one? Because if we found this value, we also can find the other value. So if here is 70, so the angle for R, I use blue color, angle for R, B, X will be also 180 minus 70 which is equal to 110. So here is 110. Okay, we want to find this value because the X is there. Okay, the X is there. And beside this one is isosceles. So that means the angle of Left and right is the same. So we have 2x. So how to find x is actually. So x will be equal to 180. Because one triangle is 180 degree. Minus with 110. We divide by 2 and then we get the value of x. So what's the value of x? The value of x is 35. Okay. Then. We get the value of x which is 35 okay so x this one is equal to 35 degree here is 35 degree okay now we want to find the value of y remember r b okay r b is a tangent to the circle so that's mean the angle of b R S is 90 degree. Okay. We already know the value of X. We know that this value is 35. So we can find the value of Y. So Y. Angle of Y. Equal to 90 degree minus 35 degree. Which is equal to. 90 degree minus 35 degree. Which is equal to 55 degree so then we already get the value of x and y okay so next this question asks you to find the length of qr okay i just use this bottom one and i will erase this one first because we already get the value for x and y okay so we get x 35 and y equal to 55 degree. Now we want to find 
the length of QR. The length of QR is from here to here. To make it easier to see, you see, QR is from here to here. Okay. So in order for us to find QR, we can we need to find the PR. Uh, wait. Okay. In order for us to find the QR, so QR, we need to find the PR and then we need to minus with PQ, isn't it? So we need to find the length PR from here to here minus the length from here to here in order to find the QR. QR is here. So that means PR minus PQ, we will get the QR. We cannot just try to find this value. Okay. So I think that that's another way. I will show you later. But I'm using this method first. Okay. So what we know that this one is 4 cm. This one is 8 cm. Okay. How to find the QR is we need to find the PR first. How to find PR? Okay, you, we use the sochatwa. So PR, sochatwa, so we identify the positions. So if we identify the positions, this is our angle, is 70 degree. We have opposite. Here is the opposite, here is the adjacent, here is the hypotenuse. So here we use the toa because we want to find the O, we have the A. So we use toa. Okay, so that means tangent 70 equal to opposite is our PR over so PR will be equal to PR will be equal to 21.98 cm okay and then to find the PQ which is tangent 70 equal to PQ over 4 so PQ equal to 10.99 cm okay to find the QR, PR minus PQ. So PR minus PQ, our PR is 21.98 cm minus 10.99 cm. And our final answer would be 10.99 cm. Okay, that's the first way to find this value. Okay. Do we have another? Uh, oh, so that's one way. We have also can use the other way. How? Okay. So this time, we only focus at these quadrilaterals. I just highlight this one in red color. Just highlight these quadrilaterals. Okay. We want to find the length of QR or maybe I just can cut this one like this. Okay, I take out this one. Take this out. So, I draw just like this. Okay, here is 90 degree and then 8 minus 4, 4 cm. Okay, here is our QR. The length of QR is here, from here to here. What else we have? We only have the angle and this one, which is, we can use the, we want to find this QR is O, this one is A, this one is hypotenuse. So same, we use the TOA. Okay, so we use the TOA means tangent, eh, 90 plus tangent 70. Tangent 70 equal to QR over 
for still we get the value of qr equal to 10.99 cm okay there's two way the first way and the second way i think the second way is much better and that's it we already get the value x equal to 35 y equal to 55 and qr equal to 10.99 cm okay that's it thank you for listening bye